Welcome back to Timeless Talk, a safe space where we facilitate conversations on the creative industry and the strides that are being made to make a difference therein. It's been quite the journey since we began last month when we celebrated women in this space. It's a few weeks to the opening of Timeless Art's biggest production yet, The Phantom of the Opera by Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. And today I will introduce our stars, The Phantoms, to amazing gentlemen who wowed us with their auditions. And we've been rehearsing and walking this journey with them since November last year. So we're going to go into a conversation with them and get to know what it's been like for them. Like I always say, I will not preempt the conversation, but I'll allow them to tell us who they are. And let's get to see what they have to offer. Thank you. We look forward to having an amazing time with you. I'm honored and privileged to introduce two amazing gentlemen. Like I said earlier, in a couple of weeks, we'll be opening the Phantom of the Opera, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical that has been on Broadway for over 35 years. It closed last year. And right now in the UK, is continuing to show for the 38th year, and it's also on tour around the world. For the first time in Africa, we have an all-black Ugandan cast doing the Phantom of the Opera. And today we get to meet the Phantoms. I will not say their names or anything, but I'll allow them to introduce themselves. So gentlemen, welcome to Timeless Talk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I'm going to ask you to introduce yourselves. I'll pretend like I don't know your names. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we'll go over there. Let's start over there. Ah, uh, yeah. My name is Gilbert Biamukisha, and I am a creative performing artist. I'm also a Keck design entrepreneur and uh, so many other things you'll find out, but I'm really excited. I like that. that. Cake Indeed. design entrepreneur. entrepreneur. That's a new one. I like that. <laughs> not, not just I'm a baker. No. Cake uh, design entrepreneur. I yes, love that. Wow. Yes, yes, Welcome yes. to the show, Gilbert. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. I'm over here. Ta-da. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Muchiza. I prefer to leave it there um, because there's a story behind that. It becomes a teaching moment. Okay. I am an artist. Mm. Yeah. Again, there's a teaching moment there, so I'll just leave it there. <laughs> Muchiza, the Muchiza, artist. Muchiza, the artist. Oh, we'll, we'll get more into that when I share some secrets I've learned oh. about you. Oh. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you guys, like, I first met, well, I had met you previously, some yes. years ago, because of some artistic things. <laughs> I first met you, Gilbert, at your audition where you blew us away in thank just you, a few you. minutes thank you. and what, you know when we began this journey uh, with my partner Della in Timeless Arts we, we, we always asked ourselves who is going to be the phantom we cannot wait to see who God is going to reveal to us and show us as the phantom and we are honored to have both you gentlemen and so I met you for the first time that day of the auditions. I remember we arrived, it was like very early. Yeah. You were the first person to show up for the auditions that day. Yeah. Yeah, and we were like, mm, who's that? <laughs> yes, yes, he came. <laughs> 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 and which is, I remember from your audition, you had a chikap. Yes. A very yes. nice, guys, if you don't know what a chikap is, it's like um, a woven sort of basket-like yeah. bag. We used to use those for grab and all these yeah, things when we were in school. Yes. And I remember your chikapu bag. Uh, I remember that. Thank you. It was meant to make a statement. Not like Gilbert's, but uh, it did make a, an impression. Yeah, yeah it made an yes. impression. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Yeah. It's not uh, impression. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> impression. Yes. Yes, it yeah. made an impression. So you guys already stood out mm -hmm. in your own sense with your auditions, yeah. but we'd like to know what has this journey been like for you from the point of the audition to the fact that we're just um, a couple of weeks away from opening night. Yeah. <sighs> ah, do you want to start? Uh, uh, yes, I could start. <laughs> I, 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 I want to be earlier this time. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Let's try yes. that. Yeah. So it's been um, at the audition, I, I 
I expressed my gratitude to the fact that you, Timeless Arts, were raising the level. Mm. And it's been a privilege to be part of this entire process. I'd, I'd been part of casts before. Uh, I'd experienced uh, musicals and, you know, theatre. But this has been an education, mm. uh, a very deep, uh, intense education. And it's still going on. Mm. So I'm looking forward to more. I'm looking forward to pouring out what little I knew and mm. filling up my cup with uh, the stories. My mm. goodness, the cast, uh, you, the producers, the, the entire production team is just, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to describe it in, yeah. in words. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's intensely beautiful. Mm. Yes. Amazing. And when you call it an education, I must admit, we too are learning and growing. Yeah. And there's so much more, yeah? Like you said, there's so much more. This is just the beginning of the rest of our lives, ah. right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Gilbert, what's it been like for oh. you? <clears throat> what has it been like for me? Um, definitely a lot of learning, mm -hmm. that's for sure. But one of the things I appreciate the most with my level of experience when it comes to the theatre space is the space that Timeless Arts creates for the artists to work in is beyond our imagination. It's just crazy. The level of love that we receive on a daily is, is immense. And I, kept, and I remember we had a conversation where I was like, how do you guys do this? How do you guys be so loving and be so caring and yet do it to a point where it's not abused mm. and get people to actually get things going. Yes. Yet they still feel loved and yet they still, because there are experiences where you work in a professional space. Yes. And my friend, you better be ready to work. Yeah. No one has time to, to spend with you. No one even has time to love for you. Yes. But one of the things that I will forever cherish um, uh, in my experience working with you guys is the way I feel loved every single day I walk in. Uh, on, on in onto set, and yeah. I look forward to each and every single day on set. Wow. Um, then, as far as my audition is concerned, my goodness, um, it was intense. Mm -hmm. I came with so much passion and so much love because I was looking forward to doing it. Yeah. And then seeing you and Della that morning, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> so I'm in the right place. Yes. And then uh, I walked in, I did the audition, and I must say. Um, you know when you're passionate about something, I mean, yeah. you love something, mm. and when you've been chosen to do something, yes. you guys said you were praying about it. Yes. I was praying about it that yeah. morning, and I remember when I walked on, onto the space, I remember, this is something I've not shared with many, with many people, but I, I said, Lord, I'm walking in, be with me. Amen. These are my territories. Amen. Amen. Because and it says where are. you step, you'll take over. That's what's up. Wow. So it was... Uh, one of those things, but it has been so amazing. Everyone, every artist out there, Savanyo, pray hard to, to get an opportunity to work with Timeless Arts. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you, Gilbert. Working with you guys has, <clears throat> for lack of a better word, and I don't want to break down and get emotional because we're going to keep our tears for May. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we're done with the production, but working with you guys and watching your dedication to this, because it's one thing to create space for people to be able to express themselves and do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. But it's another thing for those people to enter that space and actually take over and also stay committed and in the effort every single day. That's not something easy. Right. And we've watched you guys lead. Right. We've, we've had, we know that we've had you know, conversations where it's been like, you guys are the leaders, you should do this and the other because yeah as the lead members of the cast, it means everyone is watching you and whatever your tempo is, mm. everyone else, you know, takes from that. And you guys have not fallen short at all in making sure that you hold the bar really high Thank in you. your commitment. Thank you. And we're so, so, I don't even know, we are blown away to work with you guys. Like you guys just warm our hearts. And we've seen you, we're not going to cry. Yes. And we've, <clears> yeah, <throat> otherwise. <laughs> <clears throat> otherwise we're about to start, but, um, we've also seen you guys transform. I want to know, um, what has the transformation process been for you? Because we've seen you guys just unfurl and mm -hmm. become something else, mm -hmm. and in different ways, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Uh, Muchiza, what has that been like for you? Uh, well, <clears throat> Gilbert, <Yeah. laughs> one of the first rehearsals, uh, in, in case 
well, he didn't mention it. He, he's an amazing dancer. Yes. He's brilliant. You already know this, yes. so. <laughs> but uh, one of the first rehearsals for a dance number, we were told to do Gilbert Han. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, we all looked and we agreed that yes, we should do Gilbert Hans because mm. they look very graceful. Mm. And then he was made, uh, well, he kind of took over mentoring me and helping me mm. get to the Gilbert Hans. Mm. And I think I've gotten the Gilbert Hans. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, and um, among other things. So yeah. I feel I've grown in my dance, in my expression with my body. Mm on stage, and even off stage, I walk different, I feel different. Uh, so that's Gilbert. Mm. Then as for the space that you people create, the production team, uh, again, the, the holding us, holding the entire cast, and it is a huge cast, mm. and making sure each one is appreciated. Every time they walk in, they feel, yeah. you know, this is a safe space, genuinely safe space. Mm and they feel they can express, they can trust us, they can trust you, mm. they can trust the directors with their art and their talent, and they'll trust that these people will take it and, you know, make it shine, make mm. it mm. just, I don't know, add to it yeah. Yeah. In, ways that, in, in ways we hadn't even imagined. Yeah. That's been uh, indescribable, really, because, yeah. I, I, again, I feel like I'm, I'm growing and I can't even describe. It's, it's a bit like being a teenager where you wake up in the morning and your legs are longer than yeah. last and you're yesterday. Like, oh, and like, yeah, happen? what's yeah. happening? And then, you know, the next day your arms are and you're like, okay. Hey. So the same thing, but this is exciting. Mm. It's, it's, it's fun, it's, it's special. I'm, I'm beginning to wonder what I'm going to do after. We've had to ask ourselves that question. Mm. Yeah. And it's a very difficult question to contend with, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gil, but what's the transformation like for you? Oh, gosh, what is the transformation like for me? Um, like, what should I not say? Because there's been <laughs> mm. things on either sides. When we talk about transformation, I, 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 I want to focus a bit more on the story, especially. Okay. Um, I don't think in any previous productions I've done, I have spent as much time with a script just studying the script mm -hmm. as I have with Phantom of the Opera. Mm -hmm. And I must give big shout out, shout outs to the director yeah. and the assistant director for the, the, that has just enabled me to grow as an artist. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you get a role, you spend time with it, mm -hmm. you, you feel you've got it. And you're like a week, two, three, four weeks into the production. Yeah. And it's like every single week yeah. when you sit down with the director, there's something new you discover. Yeah. 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 Every single week. And that has taught me to always keep an open mind and to know that there's always a story and everyone has a story. Yeah. Yes. So even the characters that we're telling, they have another story and other story the, that we yeah, have. Yeah, the subtext, yes, yes, exactly. So uh, I have grown so much in terms of like digging deeper and deeper and deeper into understanding who is this man? Mm. What does he want from life? Yes. How does he see this kind of, uh, yeah. this, this type of thing? And then, and then of course, there's also just, uh, um, naturally I, I gravitate towards people a lot. Okay. I, I love people. You're a people I, person. I'm a people person, I'm a hugger. Thanks to everyone. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, and it, it's, that's just me. And, and so I've, I've also seen myself evolve a bit more in terms of where my energy goes, mm. you know, mm. where most of my energy goes and how to draw it back, mm. you know, and how to just give and give people, but not only concentrate on giving and also learn to take back because it is important. And uh, <laughs> I didn't want to bring this up, but this gentleman right here is actually a very, very capital letter C. A-R-I-N-G, caring guy. And it yeah. doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, he goes out of his way to just show care to everyone mm. in every single aspect. <laughs> 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 like everyone will tell you that. Yeah. And, and I mean on all levels. And uh, he's one of those people that I have start, I've gotten the opportunity to explore even out of the production yeah. uh, that <laughs> yeah, we, 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 you know, share each other's stories where we are and how, we, you know, to just be there for each other's brothers. So that's another uh, big plus that I've had to, you know, 
has has the aspect you know when you you talk about each other so beautifully and i'm just so blessed to experience that because this is a, a season of brotherhood for lack of a better word you have an opportunity to get a brother who you did not know exactly. before right exactly mm -hmm. and one of the things that we realized from our previous productions when we had the first production we did not have as much time yeah um, as we've had with this, you know, for the cast. For My Fair Lady, it was almost the same as we have now. And we realized that having more time gives an opportunity to people to build relationships both in the production and out. Mm -hmm. And the chemistry you build from outside actually helps the production. Yeah. And we've realized that and we see this brotherhood between the two of you. Yeah. There's a question I want to ask about yeah. that. Yes. What has it been like, the times you felt like you're competing? Ooh. Oh, did you feel I, I'm, I'm sure you felt it. So I'm not going to say, did you feel like you're competing? Because I know, as human yeah. beings, yeah. you know, you're two people playing the same role. Yeah. What has absolutely. that been like for you? So I don't think of it as competing. OK. I think of it as building. Yeah. OK. So I once told him yeah. that when he brings a hundred percent I have to bring 200% okay. when I bring 200% he'd better not stay bring at hundred percent yes. yeah. yeah so I find that he's building me whether he knows it or not and mm. please don't use this against me no on stage <laughs> but, <laughs> no but the, the first time during the auditions we sang together Mm. We were each given a Christine, and we yeah. sang uh, we sang something together. The, the, and, the Raul song. Yes, the and one I, that belongs to yes. us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the wait. one Raul is trying yeah, to he's steal. He's trying to steal. Yes. Well, did you doubt this? Uh, no. You didn't. Okay. No. Good. Good. So, yeah. Yeah. We're, giving <laughs> we're giving too much. They have yeah. to wait to um, a real show. Yeah. Anyway, so we sang together. <laughs> And those, we were bouncing off each other. The energy in the room just mm. changed completely. And mm. I, I thought, okay. I, then I didn't know what role I was going to play. Yeah. But then when they eventually unveiled uh, the Phantoms, and it was, oh, Gilbert. Yeah. And then he came in with this very, uh, you know, calm, you know, mm. uh, reserved demeanor. demeanor. And I yeah. was like, okay, okay, okay. And then <laughs> later on when we're studying the character, mm. you know, reading the scripts, you know, bits of his exuberant self would jump out and yeah. be like, yeah, we know this, we know this. Ah, but yes. to, to, to get back to your question, for me, this is not competition. Mm. I think if I build him, he's going to build me. Right. And if we build each other, it'll get to a point where it's about the art. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's yes. about the bigger picture. Yes, it's about what you give. Right. Yeah. And if you give the audience a world, to quote our director, if you give them a world that is believable and incredibly beautiful, yes. then you've done your job. Right. And you know, that's the point to it. Right. You're so, helping each other do your job. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. yes. That's, that's right. how I'll characterize it. I like, I like that statement of uh, mm. helping each, uh, each other do the job. Uh, for me, competition, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, because I have a lot of respect for Muchiza. Oh. And, and it's actually an honor to work oh. alongside him. <clears throat> so I'm about to reveal <clears throat> a secret for those okay. of you that okay. didn't know. Mm -hmm. Secrets are being revealed. Well, well, spill the tea. Okay, spill well, the tea. Let me just spill the tea. Mm. Let let me. Let it's timeless talk. Mm. Uh, spill. Mm. spill. Mm. Yeah. Kachai. Mm. Kachai. Mm. So we have a, a production that we once did. Yes. But oh. at different times. Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, this secret you can reveal. Yeah. This, is, this is fine. <laughs> this, this tea, this tea is OK. Yeah. So this tea, uh, so it, it's Hope, uh, the musical? Isn't yes, it? And, the musical. Uh, and he played Joseph first, who was like the, should we say the villain? Uh, Not so much the villain. The, uh, well, he's yeah. one, of, one of the key characters. One of the key characters, okay. let's say. Yes, let's uh, leave it to that. Well, the reason why I brought up the villain beat up is because someone walked up to me once at the National Theatre and like, you, you're that guy from that show. You are so horrible. I don't like you. I'm like, that was Joseph. This is me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but these are things we deal with yeah. as actors. Uh, so anyway, um, so we did that. And then I, I didn't see when he did it, mm. but I did mine. And for me to do what I did, I had to watch bits of what he did oh. in order for me to uh, tell the story better. Um, 
So I, and I was intrigued. Who is this guy? Mm. And then later on, we met uh, briefly. You know, mm. he was there with his flair, with mm. his artistic flair, yeah. you know, with his hair. Was this big? Mm. Uh, anyway, uh, so, <laughs> so I didn't meet him again. And then when I walk into the auditions, I find him there. And, you know, at the callbacks. Yeah. yeah. Well, the callbacks. Yeah. And then, yeah, at the callbacks. The callbacks. And then I'm like, <clears throat> he's, yeah. Mm. The phantom of yeah, the, the opera. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I'm like, so one of those bits where like, I'm going <clears> to <throat> give it my all, but man, there's so many good people here. Mm. And Uchiza is here too. Mm. Well, I get a job. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, but then, you know, it was really nice meeting him again after a long time. And then we started working together. So I don't look at it as a competition, to get back to your question. Mm. But like you said, we better each other. Mm. Up, there's so many things that this guy does that, we, you know, this is the thing. I don't know if you've noticed when you're on set, people on set will tell you, when one of us is on stage, yeah. the other is watching really yeah. closely. Yes. And yes. if you're paying attention immediately after most of the time, you will find us in the same area. We watch you guys and we can see you imitate each other on the side. Right. Yeah, we see right. that. So, and then we bounce back and forth because again, like you said, it's about the story mm. and we're looking for the best way to tell the story. Yes. And yes. you know, our experience with the directors, the choreographer, and even among us ourselves, there are certain things we share and we're like, okay, so maybe here. And then, uh, a very good example is one of the scenes where I see him do something and I'm like, ha, I saw that. I'm mm. going to steal that. <laughs> I'm going to do it too. Yeah. And, then, and then we just bounce energy off of each other. So for us, it's more about, first of all, growing each other yes. and growing this character yes. to where it's best told. Yeah. That the audience is served 200%. The very best, the right? Very best. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that you, you both acted a certain role at different times and now you're still being given the same, same role. role? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> that says something. Mm. Well, <clears throat> well, when they watch The Phantom of the Opera, mm. they will know. Hey. They'll get to know. They'll know why. Okay. Yes, let's, uh, for now. <clears throat> now that now that the producers have gotten to know this secret we are going to watch even closer ah, we want to uh -huh. see what's that thing like there's an x factor something that's hidden mm. between you guys it's actually been out there oh yeah. really yeah because because when when you're on stage mm. when you when you're creating mm. you you bear your soul yeah. yes it's very hard to hold it in yeah. Especially with the time you guys have given us, yeah. with the space you've created where we're bonding and you know we're bouncing energy off each other, yeah. it's very very hard to just hold oneself in. Yeah. yeah. So you'll find myself, my mm -hmm. true self. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know already. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 His true self. You will know. Yeah. On stage when we're playing the Phantom, of course, will that be us, the true uh, true selves, or, <laughs> or is it? There's still a glimpse of you, but. In the phantom. Yeah, there's yeah, still, yeah. It's still, there's definitely still a, there's glimpse still of a you. bit of you, yes. Yeah. Yes, because. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's something yeah. for you to study in the yes. script tonight. That's something for you to study in the script tonight because even, even if it, it will be one day to you, you'll still be learning something yes. new about the yeah. phantom. This is true. And then when you get on stage in front of different audiences, yeah. you're yeah. still going to be learning something new about yeah. the phantom. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah this so, is true. Yeah, so there's a bit of you in the phantom, I think. Yes. In, in one way or another, we each have parts of the phantom in us. And as Absolutely. we get to know the story, Absolutely. we'll realize that. And before we started this, I was saying I would... Okay, let me not tell the story. I was going to... Okay, let me say, I would choose the phantom any day. And keep that <coughs> listening to this, so that <coughs> when you finally see, you'll know why. Christine. Oh, Christine's? Uh, watch yes, uh, just, 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 just so you're clear. Um, yeah, Christine's. Okay. <laughs> Pay attention. So ev everyone, this little part you remember when you're watching the play and then you realize why we are saying yeah. the things we say. Yeah. I know that this journey has not been easy. Yeah. And so, Gilbert, tell us, what, what has been your biggest challenge in this whole journey? <sighs> oh. And don't hide anything. Just, you know, spill it out. Not because the producer is here, you can say anything. Oh yeah, the producer is not here. <laughs> no, she's not here, she's not here. <laughs> uh, what has been uh, my biggest challenge? I think um, I, I'm going to say life, 
yeah. generally. Mm. Um, I'm a young man who's you know, rising up to getting his art together, yeah. um, getting closer to a time where I need to settle down, yes. you know, start a family. Yeah. Yes, I plan to start a family. Christine, yes. Christine, Christine, <laughs> Christine. And you see? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Take yeah, note, take note. <laughs> uh, timeless matchmaking. Here we come. <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, so life has, has been rough. So I, like I said, I'm a kick design entrepreneur. Mm. I'm also a social entrepreneur, certified actually. Mm. Uh, but I run uh, an enterprise, mm. uh, a small enterprise, um, mm. yeah, which is a cafeteria. And, and uh, the time that uh, that you have to split between the two projects, yeah. uh, between this, will, my first love, stage and theatre, and uh, also, like, I keep telling people, and, and for all that are interested, I have two places in my life that are my favourite places to be. The first is? Church. No. Take a guess. <laughs> I mean, that, that. that was the obvious one. That was yeah. the very Just obvious one. Yes. Stage. stage. Uh -huh. And the kitchen. Yes. 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 I got that as well. I also got it. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so yeah. So I have two, two of my most favorite places in the world, is when I'm on stage, or in the kitchen. I, I, I would be there every single day of my life, and I'd be like, okay. thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. Um, so, but, but because of the time that you have to pour into this project, this yes. particular project, mm. I've had to leave and step away from my work. Mm. And it has not been easy. Yeah. I, I've been robbed twice. Oh my goodness, um, so sorry. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, it, it's been really, really tough. Mm. And you know, when you have that kind of stuff going on, it starts to mess with you as a person. Yes. And that, that can start creeping into your work as an artist because yes. It People. messes with your psyche. Yes, yeah. because artists are psychic. Eh? Mm -mm. We are very mm -mm. smart. We are mm. very smart people. Mm. There's no artist who is dumb. No, mm. we are all smart. So, yeah. so our mind is our money. Really. Yes. Yeah. Because everything happens up here before it comes out here. Yes. So when things like that start happening, they kind of start to mess with you. Yeah. Um, so that has been one of my biggest challenges, really, uh, because uh, I've had to step away. Mm. from and the, you know the distance is so big from yes. where I work uh, and yeah. where I do photo yes. from yes. so that has been really really a big challenge uh, but it has evolved in Pola Pola mm. slowly by slowly for the mm. Uganda speakers um, and I've had to find solutions mm. of trying to make to to fix things on that end uh, where it does not creep into what I do, because should it start to creep into what I do, mm -hmm. then I'm losing on both ends. Yes. And I've been to that space and I hate it. Mm. I don't like it, yeah. I don't want it, and I've had to, you know, put on my big boy drawers and be like, yes. time to fix things and time to, you know, focus. Yes. Because life happens. Yes. You know? So that, that, that really has been quite a challenge. Um, on the space, um, of course, there are hiccups. Mm. Hiccups are there because you're, you're dealing with people from different walks of life. Yes. People coming in with different sorts of energies. Yes. Uh, it's, I'm that kind of person who is like, uh, will, if there's a misunderstanding, it will happen. Mm. And once it's done, it's done. Mm. Moving on. Yeah. Moving That's right along. Right yeah. along. Yeah. I've not had any serious hiccups. Mm. It's been like a, a slight thing here and there. And in that very moment, it was handled with love and with care, and then moving right on. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, that that's 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 really. All and I can and say to I that. mean, hearing stories of how you're dealing with these challenges is very heartbreaking because for us, our dream is to have enough mm -hmm. of investment and resources coming into the arts so that people don't have to, you know, juggle yeah. um, different. <clears throat> things so that they can make ends meet, right. for lack of a better word. So it breaks our hearts. We know yeah. that you understand that this is like one of the greatest opportunities of your stage career. Right. We know that. Yeah. And yet at the same time, like you said, life is happening on the other side. Mm -hmm. And we are so sad 
that someone who is taking the lead role in a musical that is known to be the biggest musical in the world. Like I always say, The Phantom of the Opera is the biggest musical in the world and Hamilton is contending for mm -hmm. that place. Mm -hmm. We love Hamilton, but yeah. yes, it's contending <laughs> for that place. But you can imagine being the star of the biggest musical in the world here in Africa. It's a big deal. Right. And yet you're having to juggle this and yeah. something else because you must yeah. find a way to yeah. make ends meet. It breaks our hearts yeah. and we just appeal to, we're not supposed to be doing this, we didn't even think to do it, but we appeal to people out there yeah. to put support into the arts yeah. because these guys are super talented, super, super talented. Thank you. And we're proud of you for that. Yeah. yeah. So, Mishiza, tell us your biggest challenge. <clears throat> so, um, I, before Phantom of the Opera, I was reading a lot about learning, unlearning, and learning again. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, this looks easy. Mm. Until I got here, again, with the attitude, with, with the, I wanted to learn. Mm. I decided I'm going to learn, I'm going to use this to learn. And then I realized how difficult it is to unlearn what mm. you think you know. Yeah. Yeah, to just empty the cup and allow new stuff to come in. Yes. And then take time to let it settle and then absorb it and then see whether it works or not mm. but without the baggage of what was in the cup mm -hmm. so oh my goodness <clears throat> so i've i've, I've uh, i think i think i've overcome that because like i said before i've i've, I've changed I've, I've transformed significantly so the the learning process has been uh, not difficult well <laughs> Difficult sounds negative. I yeah. think it's, it's been a growth, a, a moment of growth. Yes. Yes. So I've, I've, I've just really, I've enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it's, it's, a drilling, yes. but you're enjoying it. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's, yes. it's, 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 like, it's like experiencing something that teaches you, that, yeah. that, that makes you blossom. And then at the end, when you've blossomed and you feel so much the More. pain is worth it. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. You go back and the pain was, uh, you know, yeah. nothing, really. Okay. So, yes, the, the, the learning, the unlearning and then the learning, mm. that's been uh, quite the journey. They say those are just like the pains of childbirth. Mm. When the baby finally <sighs> comes out, oh. you forget the contractions. And then everyone is amazed, like, with all that pain, how can you say you want another one? But it's because of the joy yes. of finally holding that beautiful baby, baby. this new life. Mm. And I feel like this is the same thing happening for all of us in whatever projects we get or whatever opportunities we have. It's like a constant opportunity of, it's an opportunity of rebirth mm -hmm. yeah. for all of us. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the person who comes out at the other end is not the person who came in. Yes. And these are months and months of work. Yes. So. The new you, it will be like a new baby, Muchiza. Oh. <clears throat> we are ready to face the world and, and take on, you know, when we're asking ourselves the question of what next after this, I feel like in the process of you guys being on stage for that month, the whole yeah. month of May, mm -hmm. yeah. by the time we are done, yeah. it will be clear. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. it's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that not knowing what next is a beautiful thing because yes. then God is ordering our steps and yeah. preparing something yeah. amazing yes. for the us. the adventure. Yes, the adventure, the not knowing. Yes. We've abandoned ourselves to him and what he's going to do yeah. in our lives. Yeah. So, guys, we know mm -hmm. that <clears throat> in this story, it's mm. a love story. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> he say, usually says, what the love? <laughs> And the answer to one look can only be. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so, no, we know mm. that it's a love story, and yes. you have these amazing ladies on the other side yeah. mm. who you spend a lot of time with in this process. Mm. And of course, here at Timeless Arts, we say no declaring your interest until a month after the production. Really? So, yes, yes. Oh, have you forgotten the rules already? Uh, well, uh, 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 have you <clears throat> been b b b breaking the rules? So, <laughs> Uh, Have no, you no, been breaking the rules? No rules broken. Okay, uh, okay. Just, just uh, more learning. Oh. Yes. 
Are you going to use <clears throat> learning as a cover for everything? I know, now, now I have learned okay. that uh, one month after. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can you believe him? He's learning <laughs> now? <laughs> this learning thing. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but guys, we know you've been with these amazing ladies who are your co-stars yes. mm. in this. And we also know that with the love that's happening in here, in the story, mm. you've had to put some work into the love outside the story and yet not cross you know any weird boundaries, boundaries yes. or anything like that how has this journey of exploring love affected you i want to know that mm. yes well um, um where to start with this one mm. first of all the, the the actors that we are talking about mm. um let me even just let, let's leave let's leave alone that let me just talk about the people these ladies mm. they are incredible women incredible women uh, with very interesting characters you know uh, they may appear very calm mm. and very you know but when it's time for them to own their space or oh, they know how to mm. they know how to own their space yes. and they're very <clears throat> Wait, you people, I feel like I'm, yeah? I feel like, I'm, <laughs> you feel like you've been put on the spot. Oh, yeah. I feel like when they watch this, they'll be like, you! Uh, well, I, I, I can jump in. Yeah, in there. yeah. The, the very cat like. Oh, uh -huh. yes, the, the very, like, yes. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll be napping very yeah. gracefully. Yeah. And you're thinking, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But when it's time to bring it, yeah. they bring it. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. you'd better be there to bring what is required. Yeah. So yes, yeah. but please continue, I interrupt. Yeah, so um, first of all, understanding where we were going with this and mm. you know what the story is and like you said about love. Mm. Uh, I think for me, what has made it easy is their willingness to work towards the same goal. Mm. Because it's harder when you're, when you're dealing with someone who doesn't, who doesn't want to go the same way, let me yes. say. Yes. Uh, so, First of all, both of us walked into the space, into the roles, knowing that there was A, B, C, D to be done. Yeah. And there was work that needed to be done around it. Mm. And, um, and, and much as, you know, uh, we walk in and uh, let me just give an example. I'll walk in and I'll say, um, I'll find one of the ladies seated there and, you know, just, you know, there alone. The first instinct is I'm going to go sit next to them mm. and then something will come up. Yeah. Now, just me doing that, we're already building um, a, relationship a relationship and a bond. And, a bond. Yeah. and um, I will text, I'll make sure I text. Mm. Or we make sure that as we're going home, we always go home with them. Yes. Um, um, we'll check in. If she doesn't look okay, you want to check in and say, yeah. okay, are you fine? Uh, do you want some water? Mm. Uh, so again, I don't know. Some of these things are good given, you people. Eh? Mm? They're just good given. It love. just happens. Yes. <laughs> you just have love. Yeah, you. It, it just flows. Mm. As when you see her there, you're like, eh, eh, huh. Mm. But respecting the line, the yes. you know, they, mm. they are definitely boundaries. Yes. And and I have to give it to the ladies as well because they are they yield mm. very nicely and also respectfully, and and they let us come in, mm. you know, and. I don't think, we've, well, I don't know, I'm not going to speak for you. Mm. But <laughs> considering the rules. Yeah, that yeah consider, learning. considering oh. the, the learning. The learning. <laughs> yes, learning. The learning. Yes. Uh, I don't, I, honestly, well, you might ask them, but I don't think I've got to a point where they're like, ah, oh, she's just says that. Mm. Am I not like speaking Uganda, crossed, by the way? Yeah, yeah, like you uh, crossed like, cross the line. You're, you're, you're almost, you're, you know, you're crossing the line, or you're almost crossing the line, no? Uh, you see, that's the thing about energies, you mm. know, because we all, you guys are fantastic. Again, it's, it all Thank goes back you. to you guys. Yeah. You knew who to pick and to put with, you know, with who when you were selecting your Christines and your Phantoms. I'm sure there are aspects you saw in us, you, in, you saw in Gilbert mm -hmm. yes, and Muchiza yes. yeah. and those ladies whose names I won't say, but mm. they are there. Nosey, 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 Nosey. There's a certain energy that just, you know, it, it, it's like electricity. And have you taken any of this into your personal life? 
Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Should I ask if there is a someone who's benefited from lessons? <clears throat> um, let's first go to Mujiz. <laughs> and then we shall come back. We shall come back to that question. Before we're not going to I get forget. arrested. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to forget. <laughs> Mujiz, hey. tell us your experience with these ladies, love. So I'm going, I'm going to start from where you ended with him. Mm. Uh, my significant other. Mm. One of the Christines mm. taught me that you actually have to make an effort to book the person okay. so that you make time for them. Okay. So yes. she, well, from our conversations, I called this person and I booked them mm. for, nice. well, repeatedly. It was like, I would like to spend time, say, Sunday afternoon with you. Yes. And she was surprised. Because you'd not done that mm. before? Uh, well, not in that, yes, I hadn't done that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I've, I've, um, I've learned how to be more caring, yeah. how to love better. Mm. So hopefully, um, in case you're listening, um, watch I'm watching. Yeah, we this won't mention. I won't mention the name, but mm. uh, I'm 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 better. I, mm. I have no words really. But but anyway, back yes. to the Christines. These are amazing, incredibly gifted, uh, professional yeah. ladies. Yeah. So they. I feel safe. Yeah, right. they, they are, right. like I said, they seem very, very demure, and, mm. you know, very, almost harmless. Mm. But when it's time to bring it, yeah. they bring it. Yeah. And there's no time for me to, I'm staring in your deep brown eyes and I'm lost yeah. and da da da. <laughs> and there's none of that. It's, it's more, okay, I'm staring in your eyes, but I'm the phantom in this moment, and you're mm. playing Christine, and you're giving me Christine, I better bring the phantom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they bring that, and I bring the phantom, and you know, we just keep, again, building and mm. learning from each other. So that's what I, they've created a safe space for me to feel I can express myself mm. and be the best character I can be. But then to tie this into what you said about Timeless Arts, wanting to create wanting to build the art industry to a yeah. point where the leads of, you know, where, where it's appreciated so much so that we're not juggling. Yes, uh -huh. yes. One of the Christines, and I hope she'll let me say this, I was telling her the same thing, you know, ah, too many things, ah, mm. uh, jack of all trades, yeah. master of none, and mm. da, da, da. And she told me, but um, she, she'll, I think she'll complete this. I, I, I don't remember exactly how it, how it ends, but her point was, there's other things that you do mm. make you you. Mm. So I know Gilbert. They make you machiza. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then that's the machiza that was cast mm. because you came in with all this energy, you know? Mm. So I know his, he hasn't mentioned half the things he does, mm. but all these other things he's juggling. Of course, the money aspect is the biggest deal, mm. but the fact that he writes, he, he choreographs, he does so many other things feed into who he is. Mm. And then uh, I guess what Timeless Arts and other benefactors out there would help with is just making sure he doesn't have to worry about the day to day. Yeah, the survival. The survival, yes. Yeah. But then he can do all these other things and just, you know, just grow them. Yes. So, and you guys are already doing that because yeah. from what we've been discussing, you've well, let me speak about my personal experience. Mm. I haven't been in a production that has been so professional mm. that has made me feel like I am an actor. Mm. And this... And you can proudly go, go yes. there and say hi. Yes. I'm, a and I'm an actor. I'm an actor. Yeah. You know, no one will turn their noses up at you and think, ha, 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 ha. Mm. So you guys have created that space. And I'm sure where we're going is even better. Mm. Where you are going and where you're going to take all these young, gifted people mm. is even, even better. It's so. our dream, amen yes. to that. Amen. It's our dream, amen to that. Yes. Mm. Thank you, that's, that's our dream, that's our dream. And being able to work with you guys, mm -hmm. we say amen to that. Yeah. And we're getting back to you, uh -huh. we didn't forget. Uh -huh. By the way, his nickname is, uh, I don't know if, how to pronounce it, I said Gil Cakes. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is that it? Yeah. Gil Cakes. Gil Cakes. Yeah. yeah. Gil okay, cakes. so Gil Cakes. Moist, mm -hmm. delicious, every mm -hmm. single bite. Hey! 
I know I'm not so, escaping this one. You're but. not. No, there's no amount of cake talk that will get us away from yeah, this. Yeah, uh, I think I think for me, being a person that is all over the place, and I think you've noticed, they will tell you, when I am in the creative space, mm. I'm like a beast. Let me mm. just say, I yes. just, I, I, I'm, I'm that invested in what I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but I guess the intentionality and being more present. Mm is something I've learned when it comes to the Christines, to mm. dealing with the Christines. Is there someone benefiting from that? Yes. Well, maybe or maybe not. Mm. Oh. Uh, but yes, mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've definitely learned to be more intentional yes. and more present. Yes. Because usually I'm like, yeah, this and that and that and that. But now it's more like, yeah, Chino. I'm right here, yeah. and this is the experience yes. we're having right and now. This is where we're going, and now where are we going? But no, we are now here. you've said it. Yeah, this oh, is where wow. we're going. You know, we That's... we ladies love knowing where we're going. Yeah, hmm? yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, we do. I know. Okay. Yeah. I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I am learning. Okay. No, yes. <laughs> He's learning. I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. So if that's something that you've taken from here, yeah. we're definitely proud, yeah. proudly associated. Yeah. 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 I'll bring. I'll, I'll come back with Hedetic eh, to okay. meet the singer. Uh, oh. Yeah. The timeless. You know, timeless there's a timeless singers. singer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Timeless yeah. singer. Yeah. I guess singers. you will get to know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, <clears throat> this this conversation has been amazing, and we have to wrap it up. You know, with us creatives, we could go on and on yes, and true. on and yes, on. True. But it's an honor to experience both of you. Thank you. And we can't wait to see. Actually, we've seen, but we can't wait for the rest of the world to experience you. Right. And I'm not even going to say just Uganda, because I know this is the beginning of you guys going international. Yes, we're going international. Well, no, no. And so <laughs> we thank you so much for the energy, the beautiful energy you've brought because even if we create an atmosphere and you don't come in with that beautiful energy, mm -hmm. then still it will not work. Yeah. So you just brought who you were and you fed into what we call, um, you know that Dela and I say we are love personified? Yeah, yeah. And you guys have just taken that on and we're so grateful for you. We just can't wait for what the future holds. Thank you so much for giving of yourselves to being the phantoms thank you. in the phantom of the opera. Thank you, thank so you. So people, watch out for them. They're coming. It's just a, a couple of weeks to opening night and the whole of May they'll be on stage. Fourth May will be premiering at the Kampala Serena Hotel and then all the weekends of May, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we will be having shows where these amazing gentlemen are our leads. Gentlemen, it's been amazing having this conversation with you and experiencing you since November. Yeah. And we are here almost at the end of this journey. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's been months. It's been, well, it's just fast. Like, yeah, yeah, it just, just goes so quick. Yeah, yeah. So quick. And I know there'll be numerous tears at the end of it. Yeah. But it will be because we've had such an amazing time together. Right. Right. And this conversation is just a small part of an amazing journey. Right. But thank you so much for pouring into our space, the space that we have had to, you know, rehearse the Phantom of the Opera and get ready for one of the biggest moments of all our oh, lives. Right, right. If we at Timeless Arts created a space and you did not bring your amazing positive energy into it, then it would be for nothing. Mm. You know that Dylan and I always say that we are love personified mm. and you have embodied that. And you too are love personified and we are going to do great things in the arts. I know that this is the beginning of great things. You're going international, guys. Ooh, amen. This is the beginning of amen. great things. And well, so, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And from us at Timeless Talk, it's goodbye. Bye. Bye. Adios. Adios.